If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Bob Wade is in studio right now, the former coach of uh, the Dunbar Poet, the great Dunbar Poet teams, although there were some other, like he said, uh, Sugar Kane and some others there who kind of paved the way, but Bob was uh, part of the program that uh, nationally ranked, in fact, the number one in the uh, country uh, during their heyday, and there's a big film on Thursday night uh, that uh, Tommy Polly has put together, and uh, a lot of uh, the locals are going to be in attendance and celebrities, and I told you Denzel's playing you in the film, so you got to be thrilled with that, right? I'm, oh, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> That's great. You didn't know that, though, did you? I, I really didn't. Tommy was, was, was telling me that. Kept that, that a uh, secret. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, speaking of Tommy, I mean, it's kind of cool. He was not a major, major player in Dunbar basketball. He was a player. I mean, he wasn't a major, major player in Dunbar basketball, and yet he's taken a lot of pride in this. It's kind of cool. It's not self-glorification. You know, it's not not that he would do it. It's not Sam Cassell putting together a film on the life of Sam Cassell. It's Tommy Polly, sort of an ode to Dunbar basketball, poet pride. That's kind of cool. True. Tommy was not an, an out. He was, he, he was a very good basketball player, but he was not a, uh, uh, a great player. But he was a tremendous football player. We all know that. But uh, Tommy took it upon himself uh, to tell the story, uh, the, uh, the Dunbar story. And I applaud him for his efforts. Yeah, it's uh, neat. He did a great job. Uh, uh, he and his, uh, his staff, they did a great job of putting this piece together. Uh, he went back and uh, he did not slight anyone. He went back and uh, talked to some of the old timers, uh, the uh, Willard Wrights of the world, uh, the Ed Amos of the world, and uh, uh, he, he, you know, he brought it up through the era, and uh, uh, he's got Morgan Wooten, a uh, great piece with Morgan Wooten. He just did an outstanding job putting this together, showing not just the athletic uh, piece, but also the uh, the East Baltimore community. What coaching did you do, Bob, with these kids? I, I, again, you talked about this. They kind of came from different areas, so some of them might have had, you know, I don't know this, but some of them might have had different abilities or, or skills based on maybe where they came from and who they learned basketball from. How much coaching did you do or was it typical of what high school's like? Beat them up about going to class, tell them to stay away from that girl and get in here and practice. But Or did you really have to sit down and teach them basketball? So a lot of them came with, with good fundamental skills. Some did, some had had bad skills. You know, they, uh, they, they did not want to share the ball. They were like what I call the man in their community. And we had to get them to play together uh, and, and play within the structure, offensively and defensively. As far as coaching, um, I'm, uh, I, you know, I don't want to say I'm a perfectionist, but I believe, in, I believe that practice makes, you, you, practice, you play the way you practice. Mm -hmm. And we put a lot of effort and time in uh, as far as uh, practicing. And when the games came, uh, the games were fun. It was, it was like... Uh, yeah, your practices yeah. were probably harder than the oh, games, yeah, right? practice was very hard. But, uh, you know, we had to put a lot of effort into... Getting the, getting the young people to play together. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.